So I have seen loads of first descendant thunder cage builds out there some of them are amazing my pal easy now posted one on my channel while i was away about two weeks back now that was amazing too that thunder cage build offered around 630k dps now the one i bring you today guys i bring you a complete build on is more or less 700,000 dps it's the highest I have seen and today guys I bring you everything you need to know about building your very own. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and before we go any further to say thank you for the amazing support I've had on the first descendant I'm giving away ultimate descendants or the equivalent in that caliber. Now to win it's as simple as this drop a like on this video leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Now unlike some of my giveaways are actually legit so the more I see you active on my channel the more of a chance you have of winning. Winners will be picked and announced tomorrow evening on Sunday's video so good luck. Now also guys join my discord link down below for more giveaways. Okay so I just want to make this clear this isn't a competition. I didn't actually plan to make the highest DPS Thunder Cage build out there. I just wanted to create the best version of a mob destroying Thunder Cage. Uh, and this is basically what I did. And eventually, guys, it became a DPS monster, which after looking online, I couldn't see anything higher at all. But yes, this is a mob destroying machine, a mob destroying built weapon. But I will also say it's quite good against those void bosses too. It isn't bad in this regard by any means. But for what I did want it for, it is utterly unreal as you'd imagine with this kind of DPS. Now on this build as we look at it, you will notice that I haven't specced into any weak point modules whatsoever. And I've gone for crit and electric damage. With electric and the thunder cage basically going toe to toe. So yeah, perfect together. Now in regards to the modules I have used here, I won't showcase where everyone is found. But to find out for yourself if you are missing any and want to create this monster, it's quite simple. Bring up your map and tab left to that access info tab. Click on modules, then click on that general rounds on the left hand side. Then guys, find the module you need and press that acquisition info on it and find out where you can farm the mod you need. Simple guys. Okay, so the weapon. So the Thunder Cage is fully maxed out in regards to that overcharge and its role I feel is pretty incredible. Although not perfect and can be better, here you can get that bonus firearm attack too, which if I could I'd switch out that electric attack for, but the materials just get burned out when rolling with three locked stats. I do feel though this would take this to way over 700k DPS, but yeah I am happy with this until I get more of those mats to re-roll. So this weapon does have a module socket type in each slot, as you can see what's needed right here. And although this may look excessive, it really isn't and the crystallization catalyst in my opinion ain't hard to get, especially in the reality of this game's grind. It's more or less one of the easier things to get in regards to upgrading your descendant and your weapons. So on to the modules and by the way these have all been maxed out as you can see. So first up guys we have better concentration uh, and this gives a plus 74.8% firearm critical hit damage. This paired with that better insight which offers that firearm critical hit rate with a plus 39 is very nice. This paired with that 13.3 on the weapon sub stat gives it over a 50% chance to hit a crit shot. Now we do have way more than that just 74.8% firearm critical hit damage but we'll go through these stats too. We then have rifling reinforcement and action and reaction which give us a plus 93% firearm attack. With the weapon substat here too this takes it to over 100% which is great. We then have the expand weapon charge for a plus 49% magazine size which is massive in regards to DPS and getting that damage output there. We then use that fire rate up which when max out gives us a plus 25% in regards to our fire rate which is also amazing in getting that damage out. We then guys use concentrate support ammo for a plus 30 in regards to more of a magazine size but also giving us a plus 6.5 critical hit damage. We then use concentration priority which gives us an additional 120% firearm critical hit damage 
this however does slow down that reload uh, so that's why we also apply the reload focus to balance things out with that reloading factor reload focus also gives us a further 6.5% firearm critical hit damage and then guys we use the electric conductor when attacking enemies inflicted with that electrocution a firearm attack gets an additional plus 26% which I will add, we can see here the 93% firearm attack. This doesn't take into account the plus 26% we get from the electric conductor mod. So this stat, when it's all in effect, will be like 119% to that firearm attack, which is very, very cool. Now overall there we can see we have a firearm critical hit damage of 207.8%. Reload time modifier slightly slower with a minus 5% which isn't major at all, you don't even notice it. A firearm attack of a plus 93% but like I said when that electric conductor mod does stack with this it's like 119% which is very cool indeed. We also have uh, a 79% in regards to our rounds per magazine allowing us to apply even more damage. Recalls at 20%, nothing major at all. Firearm critical hit rate is like I said, 50 plus percent when we take into account the weapon subclass and what we have here. And we also have a plus 25% in regards to our fire rate, which is very, very cool indeed. Now I know people will be watching this and thinking what about that weak point damage which I do fully understand. Now I tried to build a thunder cage for that weak point damage and although it was decent enough I won't lie to you what I was finding out was no matter the modules I was using the weak point damage was never as high as what it was on this creep build I showcased today. Yes for sure when those weak point crit shots pops up they did do slightly more damage but because it means a reduction in crit hit chance or even crit hit damage when applying weak point damage I was seeing less of the actual crit hits popping up which definitely in my opinion equaled out into me in the long run not doing as much damage when specking into that weak point damage with this from the cage. Now this was obviously just under my weak point build and the build I went for, I did go and create, it was pretty good I'm not going to lie, but I know there's going to be better right there. But I feel what I do showcase to you guys to now, with this 700k Thunder Cage DPS build, the damage this thing does at that top end probably won't get much better no matter what you actually do. But yes guys, this is basically my Thunder Cage 700k DPS build. An absolute mob destroying machine and it's what I built this weapon for. Guys let me know your thoughts on this down below, if you think it can be improved let me know for sure. You can always direct message me on my discord, my discord is linked down below and I will credit you if I make it even better. But yes guys I hope you do enjoy the video, if you decide to use this I hope you again do enjoy it. It can be made much much better in regards to stats elsewhere on your descendant and things you have equipped in other places but because I know people are using different descendants but are looking for a decent Thunder Cage build I hope this hits that spot for you. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.